If you've been around the Who community for any length of time, there's no doubt that you've been dragged into the canon debate, one which has caused many arguments over the years, and will continue to until the show ends. The problem with defining Doctor Who's canon is really due to the nature of the show itself. Since it is of course about time travel, it brings many problems that others don't face. The problem also stems from the BBC themselves, as the entirety of Doctor Who isn't owned by one single entity, but instead different companions, villains, and individual characters are owned by their creators, such as the Daleks being owned by Terry Nation and not the BBC. This removes the argument that canon is whatever the BBC decides it is, as not only do they refuse to comment on what is canon, they legally can't, as many of the established characters or villains can be used elsewhere without the BBC needing to approve it, such as a K9 series set in Australia. Though just because one argument is invalid doesn't mean that people haven't offered other viewpoints, such as canon is only what is televised and shown on screen, meaning none of the books, audios, comics, or any other expanded media can be counted as canon. But a few massive holes in this argument are what happens if characters from expanded media are referenced, such as Absalom Dak in Time Heist, and the Eighth Doctor's Big Finish companions in Night of the Doctor, and that it's not just expanded media that contradicts the show, the show contradicts itself, something I'd rather not get into as there would just be so much to get through. Another big argument is that everything is canon. Everything involving Doctor Who characters, be it a comedy sketch, or even a song is canonical. Something which, honestly, doesn't really fly. Of course the counter-argument is, why does it matter? Why do people care what events are true and false? Does it really matter if everything contradicts itself? Well, it does, and also it doesn't. Being a show about time travel, with thousands of writers working on it for well over 50 years, things are bound to be tied in knots. But that doesn't mean it shouldn't have a linear narrative, one that anyone could pick up and follow to enjoy the show. Because no matter how good a show is, if there's not a coherent story to follow, then it won't be enjoyable, just a confusing mess. The most widely accepted argument is the one that TARDIS Wiki adopts, where most of the Doctor Who universe is accepted as canon, but other things are omitted. It's all written on this page, which is honestly an absolute nightmare to decipher, and at the end they even say they don't even try to define canon. So what did I just read? Well basically they split canon into three different categories. Real world articles, where everything connected to Doctor Who in any way can have a page, which makes sense, as it's cataloguing stuff made by the copyright holders, not in-universe concepts. That's where the in-universe category comes in. Articles written about fictional elements of Doctor Who, be it characters, species, or tools, where the only condition is that it has to be from a story, a piece of narrative fiction, if you will. This is unless it conflicts with already existing information, such as Barbara being the Doctor's granddaughter in the Peter Cushing films, which conflicts with her being a companion in the main series, therefore invalidating it from the main Doctor article. And finally, non-Doctor Who articles. Articles written about officially licensed stories that the wiki does not consider canon, like the Schalke Doctor, Schalke Master, and Peter Cushing Doctor. This interpretation is what I can get behind the most, basically defining everything as canon, except what the BBC has specifically said isn't, being only Scream of the Schalke, and anything that really doesn't fit with all of Doctor Who like Peter Cushing's movies, since they directly contradict already existing stories. Personally, I like to see pretty much everything in Doctor Who as canon. In a show where time is constantly changing, history is being written, rewritten, and erased, everything is canon at one point, it just depends where you are. Of course there's some things that I don't agree with, mainly the Schalke Doctor, because if the BBC is even saying it's not canon, it's not canon, there's no debate. And also most of the BBV stuff, because honestly, I really don't see much point in adding it to Doctor Who. Not only is it really odd, it really doesn't affect anything, which I suppose is a reason for it to be allowed, but still, I digress. Things from BBV like Probe and Faction Paradox I'm all for, but The Stranger and God forbid Cybron, nah, I don't think so. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my rambling about Doctor Who's biggest topic by far, make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below, as it really helps out the channel. Also make sure to leave a comment on your thoughts, as I'd love to hear your interpretations of canon, as good god I know there's going to be a lot of them. But anyway guys, thanks for watching.